Today, we're gonna make our very own texture wax resist art. So we're gonna make this in layers. So pay attention to each special layer. To start off, we're gonna need our messy mat and the piece of paper I passed out. We need to begin by putting our name and our code on the back of our paper. Once you've written your name and code, flip your paper over so it's safe on the back. Today, we're gonna use the texture plate. We've used them before, but remember, we want to use the side that's bumpy, not indented, the bumpy side. When we use our texture plates, we take them and we put them underneath our white paper. Then we're going to take our crayon and we're going to lay it down so that it's sleeping. And we're just going to rub it over top. So we practice with our hand first. Lay it down in the palm of your hand sleeping and rub it slowly. Then we're going to take it, lay it on our paper so it's sleeping. And we're going to come and rub it slowly. Then as we're going, you can start to get a little bit faster with it as you get comfortable rubbing the crayon across your paper. We're gonna start by placing our texture plate underneath our piece of paper. Then we're gonna grab our first colored crayon. You can pick any color you want. Remember, the darker colors are gonna show up better with our wax resist later. And we're gonna begin by doing the first layer of our texture. Now, if you can't reach the edges with the texture plate, you can move your paper to get those edges. Now that we've finished with our first texture, we're gonna set that plate back in the basket and you can pick your second layer. Choose a different texture for this one. And we're gonna pick a different color. So I used green, now I'm using orange. Once you've done that, you can begin to add this layer of texture.
Now we have one final texture rub to do. Now you can pick either a flower or a leaf texture rub from the box on your table. Doesn't matter which one, but only pick one. I'm gonna use the flower for this one. Put it underneath your paper. Try to get it as close to the middle as you can. If it's not in the middle, that's okay. We're gonna use a third color. So now I'm using blue. You can pick any colors you want. Yours does not have to be the same as Miss Megan. Before we can paint our texture rubs, you need to put all of the stencils back in the container on your table and you're gonna bring them to me and trade for your paint. Ready, go. Okay, so now I have traded my texture plates and I've gotten my paint. When using my paint, I want to get lots of water. Make sure you get your brush thoroughly with paint in it and keep it very wet. We're going to brush the color onto and you should start to see it resisting the wax in the crayons.
When you're done, put your paintbrush back on the tray. And we're gonna take our messy mat and our painting and we're gonna put it on drying rack jack. Now, we won't be able to take these home this art, but remember we take home all of our art at the end of the art year.